Well, who likes graphene in solution? Not me. <laughs> I'd rather have it like this as a powdered form that has flaked off. It's actually kind of a, it forms a cake first through the filtration process and then you pull it, put it in the oven, and you dry it out. Ta-da! I have gallons and gallons of this solution because the pilot machine has been upgraded and uh, made a little better because the big machine is on its way and we had to do a little scaling up anyway and trying to figure out, oh wow, look at that, that's neat. That's actually a boiling because of lowered vapor pressure. You can uh, learn about that in science class. That'll actually boil out if you, uh, if you don't watch out. But that's what happens. It gets in the filter paper. It cakes up a little bit. Then this solution goes in this jar. Oh. Look at that. I did not know that that table was unstable. Ugh, aluminum foil, coating things. Everything's dirty. It just, everything gets so dirty because you have all this carbon. This is the magic solution. Uh, I won't tell you what it is because, well, quite frankly, it's patented and we have a provisional patent on it. But still not a good idea to just give this stuff out. There's a couple different things in there, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Ta-da! But there you go. And then you just go over like this. Plug that in there like that. And you plug this. Hold on. That is an extreme close-up. Uh, there you go. Just like that. Hit the machine on. Pour it. Not as romantic as you would think it is. Now, mind you that there's a machine that does this process right here. It's called a filter press. Google it. Look it up. YouTube. There's neat little uh, videos about how, to, how the filter press works. And boy, is it so much easier. You can literally do tons of this stuff every few minutes. Uh, that's actually what we're looking at buying. It's a filter press and a uh, it's called a spray dryer for secondary processing. Because I actually have to filter this uh, this fluid right here twice. I keep it in a little specialty paint cans that you can buy at Lowe's uh, because the sol solvents don't eat up paint cans. They don't react to it and they seal up really well. You know, you just hit it down and there it is. Uh, but the thing is, is you want to make sure that you don't get any agglomerates. Whenever we were doing uh, initial testing and stuff like that, we would still get some of these agglomerates. So I use one kind of filter that filters a certain size and that's all of those agglomerates go bye-bye. And then the next filter size, which is this, filters the individual little flakes of graphene. So then all you get here, this is all just graphene in solution. That's all it is. Uh, that's the secondary filter. You, you filter it once to get to this, then you filter it again to get that out, the solution out, and the cake out. And then you put the cake in the oven, and you bake it at 350. No, I'm just kidding. It's uh, Actually, it's about, I got it. The door crocked open, so it's about 75 Celsius. And, uh, and bam, you have graphene cake. No, you have graphene flakes that go in your little batteries and your plastics and stuff like that. In fact, check this out. This is the most ridiculous thing ever, is I bought this little pan here to make little graphene pancakes out of plastic. Yes, that is strong. And when I, this is ABS. This is just this yellow ABS that I, you can see the graphene on my hands. But uh, you can see that it kind of burnt a little bit, you know. It does that um, because the temperature, whatever. So, you know why. Uh, so, you make this little cake, and then you make this little cake, 
and then you heat it up again one more time and you put it in what's called a dog bone mold and then you test how strong it is this is very strong this is this is that ABS that I was talking about uh, this is actually n not the best mix that I've ever made in fact it's one of the worst <laughs> that's why it's still here the good stuff is actually over uh, at our maybe getting tested right now and it is it is really neat in fact here's a little piece of the good stuff hold on uh, on my desk oh this is graphene in epoxy resin very strong um, this is uh, well, I can't find it. Anyway, there's some little pieces of plastic I have around here that are fairly strong. Let's just say that. And there's your uh, video of the day because, well, I'm working hard and I'm tired. Thanks.